Hello everyone and welcome back to W Bricks. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Lego Ninjago Destiny's Bounty, the race against time. Uh, now this set retails for $160 here in the United States and it just released here on June 1st. It has 1,739 pieces. All right, let's get started with the review. Now, when this set was first revealed, I was not too excited for it. But uh, now that I've seen it here and I have it in my hands, it is so amazing, guys. And I cannot wait to show you the full thing built. Uh, but let's start off with the box art here for the review, like always. I love the box art, and this one does not disappoint. Looks very, very good. Beautiful sunrise in the background there. Uh, just gorgeous box. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely love it. Uh, the banner across the top really reminds me of the original 2011 Ninjago sets. I grabbed one of my 2011 sets here so you can see. Look at that. Just the simple Ninjago. Obviously, the original branding of Masters of Spinjitzu and Dragons Rising is different. Uh, but it looks very similar up until it is obviously Aaron then instead of Kai from the original. But look at that. Very, very similar. All in all, very, very cool box art. Uh, on the back, looks terrific as well. Shows you a lot of the features. And then, look, guys. There's no thumb tabs. It was tape. It was tape. There was no thumb tabs. So, that is also a blessing. We absolutely hate the thumb tabs. So, super cool to see that. And then, each of these side... Uh, the uh, Let's see. That'd be the right-hand side of the box. It has a different, like, box art picture. So, this one has Baby Ryu. Overall... Super, super good looking box. Let's get into the minifigures. All right, and our first two minifigures up here are Sensei Wu on the left and Rapton on the right. Now, Sensei Wu is exactly the same as what we saw in the uh, Core Temple just a year ago. It is a terrific looking Sensei Wu, but I am disappointed it is not something new. I was really expecting a new Sensei Wu minifigure, and so just having a regular old Sensei Wu, or I guess Master Wu now. Uh, it's I don't, a little disappointing to me. I would have preferred a new one. And, of course, Rapton looks absolutely terrific here. The Imperium Sword looks amazing. Uh, just the torso print, the leg prints, all that looks awesome. The hair piece is great, of course. The new armor piece is great. Then he does have a secondary face back here. Just not as, you know, crazy. But all in all... These are two excellent figures, uh, but Rapton is not exclusive to the set. In fact, none of the minifigures are exclusive to the set, which I think is disappointing. Um, but all, I mean, these are two good characters. You can't fault them for it. Now, our next minifigures up here is we've got the new Lloyd on the left and Kai on the right. Uh, really, the torso and legs, I think, look terrific. And I think it comes down to personal preference on whether or not you like the new hood piece or not. It is growing on me. When I first saw it, I thought it was the ugliest thing in the world. And I really hate it in the TV show. But here, you know, having it in hand, I think it does look better than I expected it to. Uh, moving around the back, of course, it does have the double sword uh, sheath there for them on the back. Uh, as you see, there is some printing on the back there that looks good. And then your secondary face for both of them right there and I'll get those turned on to the regular face right now. And that is what they look like with the other side of the face print on. Uh, it is so nice to be having new face prints for these minifigures. I mean, we had the same one for like the last four years. And before that, I mean, it was just the standard minifigure face. So it is so nice, so nice to be having new face prints for these minifigures. And if you see here, I'll flip it around to the back so you can see again, here is their new, just standard face looks. Looks super, super good. So good to be having new ones. And finally, our last three minifigures, or two minifigures and Baby Dragon, is we've got Sora, Baby Ryu, and then Eren. Okay, Sora looks great and Eren looked great. Uh, both terrific looking minifigures. The arm printing there on Sora is terrific. Uh, Baby Ryu looks terrific. Seriously, no complaints on these minifigures. Except, now that I think about it, Aaron does not have a secondary face. He just has a standard face, while Sora does have a second face. So I think that's a little disappointing. We're not getting a second face for Aaron, but we are Sora. 
I was just not expecting that. Let me turn around that face so you can see there. That's what the face print looks like. Uh, but yeah, no, I was super disappointed that there was not a double-sided face for Aaron. I did not expect it at all. You would expect to get a double-sided for both. But, you know, I all in all, these are really good minifigures. I think they look very, very cool. And then Aaron's new, like, grappling hook piece looks very good as well. It's on that rubbery, bendy material. So you can use it to pose your figure. All in all, two terrific-looking figures. And then, of course, Baby Ryu's great. All right, and the first part of the actual build is this miniature's dragon. Now, I assume this is the Sora dragon from the show, and I think this turned out very, very good. The uh, the bright azure color here on uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna call it Sora the dragon it, it, on Sora here looks terrific. I think you know I hate plastic wings, but on a dragon of this size, these work out very good. Uh, the flame orangish yellow looks absolutely terrific with this bright azure amazing color combination one complaint is that they did this in gold right here and they did the toenails in gold and they did these like little side horns in gold i don't know why we do that i think they should have just done the whole thing in the flame orangish yellow i think that would have tied it in better uh because the gold isn't really showing up compared to the brightness of the rest of the dragon but all in all this is a very good small dragon like very very good I almost completely forgot to talk about this, but it also includes this like little saddle piece with stud shooters that you can put on the back of the dragon. I obviously kept mine off. I completely forgot about it because I thought it ruined the look of the dragon. Uh, yeah, and if the head is up, you're like shooting the neck of the dragon. I, this just wasn't doing it for me. So that's what's nice here is you can just pull this off and then just have the dragon without the weird cannon piece on the back. Let's get to the Destiny's Bounty. And here it is, the brand new Destiny's Bounty. And this thing looks so good. I mean, come on. It is so sleek. All of the tiling work on the side looks amazing. The grills here on the side using the old style telephone piece is terrific. The new wing pieces up here. They're vinyl, but they're perfect. And all you have to do is twist this knob right at the top and they open up perfectly. I mean, come on. That is awesome. Uh, I think the only major complaint on the outside of the decorations is that there is this big hole at the front. But that is if you would like to take your Sora dragon. All right, now, bear with me for a second because this is a pain. So you can take your dragon. You can open up this hatch right here. And you can shove the dragon down right there. It's a little bit difficult to get it in there properly. Let me try something else. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I, If you can find a way to get this in good. I did do it when I first built it. I was able to get it in. But you know what? This is a pain in the butt. If you're a kid watching this, you're probably going to have a hard time getting this in there. But... Honestly, go for it. Go for the challenge to get this in there properly because this is, yeah, one heck of a challenge to get it in there. So forgetting the dragon and just keeping it as the bounty. The next thing I want to look at is the custom-made anchors down there on the bottom, which look terrific. They've been using the uh, standard plastic anchors, or they used to use them all the time. And so getting the custom-built one there looks terrific. Uh, the steering wheel or the, you know, the... Whatever you call that on a ship looks great up there. You've got some amazing um, stickers, unfortunately, but they look really good here on the back. Uh, your engines look very, very good. They rotate very well. Let me pick this up just so you can see. You've got a full 360 degree of motion there. Um, I think I like the like automated version of the original one the best still, where you just kind of pulled it. And I think the Season 5 one did the same thing. Um, where they were both in unison, but now you have to like manually change them to the angle you want. I, I do definitely like it better when it's automated together. And then there's also like they come unhinged a little bit. You got to make sure everything is tightened up on there. But I mean, it looks super cool, but getting that angle, it's just not as satisfying as the old one where you would just move one of them and they would both like flick down into the um, flying motion. 
All right, now we got to take a look inside of it. So the first area you can open up here is right up here on top. And if you look closely, I'm going to lift this up now. You see there's a little like pet house for baby Raihu. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Uh, it was a pain to get all this food in there and like not have it fall out. But once you get in there, it's, it's kind of stuck. Uh, but all in all, super cool. It does get stuck trying to close it. You have to bend the plastic a little bit to get it in there. Uh, but that's, that was super, super cool. I wasn't expecting every area up there. Next up is you've got this section right here that lifts off. And this was actually very empty compared to what I thought it would be. Uh, there's just a little table there at the back, some swords on the wall, some uh, scrolls in there, and a little picture of a baby dragon. Kind of cool. I mean, it's stickers, but I was expecting more inside there. But at least there is plenty of space to put your minifigures. And then down here inside the ship, you've got the full quarters. You've got two beds. You've got a chalkboard up there on the wall. You've got a weapons rack. Let me flip it around. You've got some compasses on the wall back there. And then you've got a video game set up with Kai and a Skulkin Warrior from that Kai Legacy set two years ago. So that's a cool little Easter egg in there. And then, of course, the Lloyd Hood that Aaron holds on to forever from the show. So a good interior here for this set. I was impressed with how much space they actually were able to put into this. Uh, considering that you could probably fit your full ninja team here on the inside. You could probably get two or three of them in here, two or three of them down there. Oh, I guess including Aaron and them. Uh, I, I assume you could still fit Aaron and them. And then this top, it doesn't sit on, it doesn't like lock into place. You just kind of match it up and then it like lays down at an angle, which is super cool that it's angled, but then it's also still secure on there. Just a super cool Destiny's Bounty. I, I mean, I, I was not expecting good stuff from the set and then it really blew me away. A great set. All right, and here we are at the end of the review. I'm typically a lot more critical of expensive sets than most people. When I'm paying a large amount of money, or or more when you're paying a large amount of money, I expect for us to be getting a high quality product. And so I really like to nitpick the smallest things. And here in this set, I was expecting not to like it. I was expecting there to be a ton of flaws that I just could not be happy with. Uh, and I really thought it would be ugly without having the dragon head here at the front. But I don't mind it. it. This set really shocked me. It was one that I wasn't expecting. I had a great time building it. It's a good building experience. Obviously, yes, you're basically building the whole thing, you know, twice. Each side is, is exactly symmetrical to the other. So you're always going to be building. Whatever you build on one side, you're going to build on the other side. So that, you know... That's a slight bit of uh, reputation or a repetition there, my bad. Not reputation. Uh, but if Taylor Swift wants to sponsor me, that's fine. Uh, okay, so is this worth $160? Yes. The simple answer is yes. It, it definitely is. You've got a great price to piece. The only thing I can complain about here is that there's no exclusive minifigures. For $160, I want to be getting exclusive minifigures. And when we're getting six, you know that are easily available. I mean, the only one that wouldn't be easy to get right now would be the Sensei Wu. But even him, he just came out, what, a year and a half ago? Like, you should be able to still find that set. If not, I just saw that that Core Temple on sale for 20% uh, off. It was down to $80. So each of these minifigures is readily available. And I think that really damages the set. But I can't, I can't knock the set for the minifigures. Because the Destiny's Bounty is just so freaking good. I can't get over it. You know, besides this whole area, which, you know, you can mod it out if you want to. Or you can spend half an hour getting that dragon in there. It's a great looking bounty. I really, it's it's gorgeous. It's a work of art, what they have created. Um, I would say if you've got $160 to spend and you can't decide if you want to get the Destiny's Bounty or get a couple of the smaller sets... Man, it's a hard decision because the other sets are so good too. Um, but I, if if you're worried about wasting your money on the set, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think $160 for this is definitely fair. And I think if you purchase this set, you will definitely enjoy it. It is a good building experience. It's, it's all around a great set. I just so positive about this set and I was not expecting to be. So thank you all very much for watching this review. Make sure to check out all the other reviews that will be coming out very soon. I've got... 
every single one of the Ninjago Dragons Rising sets. Uh, so those will be coming out soon, along with Ninjago City Markets. That will be out very soon as well. I'm finishing building it. It's right there. It's right there. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. We won't look at it yet. Uh, it's so amazing, guys. So thank you again. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all later on W Bricks. Ah!